show you what I was putting in just the one Christmas Eve box because they're going to be identical apart from some colours being different. One grandson likes the colour blue, he likes to look up into the sky and he likes the colour blue when he sees it in the sky. Obviously we won't see much blue in the winter but that's, that's what he likes. The other one likes the colour green so this one is for Anthony um, so any colour difference will be green just like this wee torch here whereas Logan will be having a blue one. So I'm just going to show you me setting up just the one, there's no point in me showing two if they're going to be exact same. So the boxes I got from Matalan quite some time ago, as most people know, the shops stocked up for Christmas quite early, even earlier than normal this year. So there was stuff in the shops like end of August, September. So it could have been September or October I got this box. It was £6, that's the lid there. And they're both identical, both boxes are the same. So I've got two of them. So that's the lid. So I've put some just plain white tissue paper, just to make it that wee bit nicer. Um, boys won't bother anyway, they'll just open it and rip everything. So I thought I would put these wee Christmas, uh, foil Christmas trees, you know, just like table confetti. Um, won't be as messy as some of the confetti you get, so my daughters won't mind too much about the mess. Because they're, they're a good size and they're not tiny when you need to pick them up. And there's no chance of Anthony putting them in his mouth. He's coming up in... What age is he? Eight? Seven? Seven. He's going to be seven soon. So I just thought that would be nice. I'll start and stick a wee bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to put the drawing book that I got first. It's a colouring book activity book. It's got crayons in there. And he likes bluey, but I got this. Logan likes bluey as well. So I just got them the same, same thing. So I'll put the big one in first and then this one. I'll put a wee bit of confetti uh, in the top as well when I close it. Um, now the pyjamas and socks, these are for Anthony. Oh, they've still put the tags on it, but it doesn't matter, does it really? So it tells you there, that's what, what they're like. And the price, £10 from Tesco. So I'm just going to slip these in there. It might be handy to leave the, the tags on with the price. I don't know if I've got the receipt, I might have, but if maybe they don't fit Anthony or, you know, my daughter doesn't like them, for some reason, we'll still be able to exchange them, I think, as long as the tags are still on them. So it's maybe a good idea just to leave the tags on them. The slipper socks, I bought these online through Amazon. Um, I'll put any prices up on the screen because right now I really don't remember how much these were. Now they've got green in it and blue but he won't mind. So the sock stack, from the sock stack I think it is, boys slipper socks with gripper. One pair, it was a pack of three pair actually so I split them. One pair's going in each and then I've got a pair extra and I was going to take them either into a charity shop or the supermarkets have trolleys for you to put any maybe the Christmas gifts in for um, people in need this year. I can always add a selection box and a pair with the spare pair of socks with other things, so I might just do that. So that's the wee slipper socks. Again, I've got the candy canes, uh, pick and mix flavour candy canes. As I was saying, the candy canes, and it tells you at the bottom what the flavours are there. There's giant strawberries, um, rainbow fruit is that? Rainbow twist, sorry, and gummy bears and bubble gum bottles. Tells you right along there. There's a 12 pack. These were from Poundland, um, so I'll just slip them in there. Next is the hot chocolate bomb. 
it's a snowman this is a mala and then you just drop that into the, the hot milk or water maybe it is to um hollow white chocolate filled with candy sprinkles it was filled with candy sprinkles it doesn't say and it's got a long um, use by date well best before end june 2024 you probably can't see that at the bottom so yeah that's quite nice i think the one i got for logan is a snowman no it's not it's a reindeer so the mala has got the antlers and then it's a a different body obviously round but brown if you know what i mean so that is the I'm just going to pop that around that way. That's the chocolate bomb, and I also got these. Um, there's actually a bit of foil inside that. I think if somebody been at these, me wonders. Anyway, it's the Favorina milk chocolate money, and you've got like it's supposed to be like the paper money in there as well. So I'll just put them in there. We've both got the, the tube of Smarties there. It's just how you place them. So. Now this is a torch, but it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. it it's got silhouettes like Santa Claus, a Christmas tree. So if you shine it on the wall, you see the silhouette. So they'll love that. Um, that was 150 and I think it was Poundland as well. That's a strawberry flavour and it's green even though it's strawberry flavour. It's a lollipop actually, sorry. You open it up and it's a lollipop but you can still use the torch which isn't working now. Yeah, there it is. Pop that in there. Now I think last but not least, it's a wee drink cup so you can have the, make the hot chocolate bomb in it or they can keep it for juice. Um, Logan's is like blue, it's a, a kind of blue in it, uh, and this one Anthony's got is the Santa Claus. So I'm going to pop that in there. I keep thinking I have forgotten something, but I think that, that is it. I mean, that's enough sweeties for them, definitely. No more sweeties or chocolate. Um, they've got their pyjamas, they've got their colouring books, their reading book, everything to keep them amused on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to fold the tissue paper back over. Just tuck it in. And I'll just sprinkle a wee bit more of these Christmas trees. Maybe they would have liked something else, I don't know, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. Okay. Then the lid. Now I am going to go and look for twine. I'm pretty sure I've got twine somewhere in my craft stash that I still have. And obviously I'll take these labels off here and I'll tie the twine round it so that they can't open. I don't want to sellotape it because it'll rip it, you know, when they take the sellotape off. And I actually am asking for these boxes back so I can use them next year. I don't know if you think that's a bit of a cheapskate, but um, they're nice boxes, they really are. So I'll need to go and look for some twine or maybe ribbon or I wouldn't stick a bow on it either because the sticky stuff's just going to rip the, the paper or the cardboard. So that's one... And I've got this, as I said, I'm not going to show you the stuff already in here. I put them in here just to store them. That's Logan's socks and pyjamas. Um, the cup I was talking about is like that, with the, the blue. Uh, everything else is the same, just the different colours. Uh, and that's the reindeer. No, it was red, I was, it was reindeer, and you can see the antlers on the mala. So I'll get that made up next. I'll just pop his pyjamas and his slipper socks in there and then I'll show you them all tied up and ready to go. Okay, I'm trying not to spend too much time there, uh, the wee boys. They won't appreciate any fancy wrapping. So what I'm going to do is 
Actually, I'm going to put this under here first. This isn't very easy for me. I'll do my best. Um, just make sure you've got plenty of length of um, twine. I've just got this thread and fine. You can decay and twine and take as much, loosen as much from the roll as you can. We'll pop that down there. Okay, so that means I've got the bit at the bottom. I'm going to bring this up. The loose bit till it's through there. So it's crossing over and I'm just going to take it back under and over. Try and keep it as tight as you can. I find it quite difficult um, because of the arthritis in my arms but I'll do my best. So I've just popped it through there. Just another wee loop. Now I've got quite a fair bit of length here. The same which is still on the roll, so I'm going to cut that off. I'll try and hold this with my thumb. I get my scissors and try and cut a length of this off. Bring it up. And if you get too much, you can always cut it. I know a lot of people think that's a waste. I think it's a waste, but. What I'm going to do is put the end that was on the roll through here as well, just to make it a wee bit more secure. I'm going to try and tie another knot through it, hopefully I'll keep it tight. Then, I can cut it to the same length and I can just cut the bow, just angle it as you cut it. I'm not the greatest at making bows, I must tell you, but here we go. You're going to have a couple of these tails there, you just trim them. Oops, that's lengthened there. See, that one's not quite tight. Pull that through and pull the other one through. Make another knot with the two loops for your bow. Okay. One's a wee bit bigger than the other, but as I say, it's too tight to make it any different. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut the wee tails here, just about here. And it's just tied up. You can lift it with it. As I say, it's for two, a six-year-old and a seven-year-old, and uh, they're not going to be bothered about this, but I just thought it would secure it, and they won't be able to get into it, hopefully not, until it's time to open it on Christmas Eve. Um, that's it, I just thought it added to it. I don't know if I'm going to put their names on it, because as I said, well I suppose I could, they're going to be for the same wee boys next Christmas as, as it is for this Christmas, it'll be Anthony and Logan and the other one, so, and you can always add a wee um, sticky to it if, if it changes, but I don't see how, I don't think I'm going to have any more grandkids, I think that's me, so that's Anthony's box already. Nice wee parcel, all tied up. They'll love everything that's in it. 